I had the privilege of talking to Kazuhiko Futagawa. He is one of the youngest A-bomb survivors of the Hiroshima blast as he was in utero at the time of the blast and he speaks English very well and was able to recount some of his memories growing up as well as some of the experiences of his family as he heard it as he grew up. Kazuhiko Futaga, I was born and raised, raised in Hiroshima. It's been 74 years. I would say I was just one of the youngest even survivors uh, that because of I was born in 1946, April 1st. My father and elder sister died in the atomic bombing on that day. My mother rushed into the area of the area in the hyper center or throughout the city all, all of the day and I think it every day and until then the end of the August she visited um, Ninoshima Island. Ninoshima Island is close to Hiroshima port. It's far from 10 kilometers from the hypercenter that um, even survivors had brought there and 10,000 10, people, survivors, in there. And then, 47 years old, and my elder sister, 30 years old, he was a um, mobilized student. And my father ran, my father worked at the post office and just in front of the senator. And, then, and then I think it, they even dropped at 8.15. And maybe my father had worked, so started working on that time. So. Did your mother become sick? Uh, yeah. Yeah. I'm four years, six, five years old. My aunt told me that my mother very sick. It's called prairie prairie prairie. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Lung. Uh -huh. And he became um, he, and the doctor told my aunt that she would die soon. My aunt told me uh -huh. about that story. I'm the youngest. We have five sis five brother and sister and that day I'm the youngest. But, and then my mother did it this work, harsh revolves. He children children name called mm. called um. Tadayoshi and Aiko and Reiko and Isoshi and Kazuhiko. And she never she can't die yet. She told my aunt she can't die yet. That's her voice. And then after that my mother got well and very well. And then and after that she worked at she worked at the, my aunt post office. My aunt post office office running for east of Hiroshima Station near okay. Matsu near, near Matsu Corporation. Okay. Yeah. So my my, my aunt post office was safe. After that, after the war, after the bombing, my mother worked at my aunt post office. She had had worked for forty more than thirty years. Thirty years. Wow. And she, she, she raised five children. This is Hiroshima Station. Mm -hmm. Maybe my parents has around here. Okay. Yes. And then you can see the picture. And then this is the uh, peace, peace bluebird. Mm -hmm. And my sister working area work. Work that demolition. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. So they were breaking buildings? They, they were doing uh, houses uh, to make. Uh, stop fire? Yes, yeah, stop a fire. Uh -huh. In those days, almost, all, uh, almost every day, American bomber fly to Japan, they hit almost um, two, about 200 cities were 
were divested from air yes, strike. Mm -hmm. So So there were many fires. Yes, many fires. So this is the hypercenter mm -hmm. and this uh, the red circle is completely destroyed on about only ten seconds after that. And big fire and blasted. And my family house was here. And my family house almost collapsed. The, the glasses doors shattered, blown away. But oh, oh my aunt told me that, uh, that just at that time, 8.15, my mother and my eldest sister brother happened to be visiting the next door neighbor who live in uh, mm, straw touch the roof house, straw touch the roof house. So there was no glasses, so they were safe. My, my, my parents had a two-story house, many glass doors surround my right. house. Yeah. And um, if they live in houses, mm, see serious harm, serious right. problem. Yeah. Just a few words my, my mother told me after they bought me the next day, August 7th, or, or maybe August, August evening or night, many survivors moved to uh, elementary school was there in my, my mother's house, just close here. And then in those days, elementary, elementary school was our like evacuation yeah, yeah, evacuation center. center. Uh -huh. Every every um, elementary school evacuation center. The many survivors uh, crying, uh, heat, give me water in the midnight. But after the next day in the morning, quiet, everybody died. So she, my mother told me just a word. That's so powerful. Yeah. Right? She must have been so scared. Mm. The Peace Park area, before they bombed me, mm -hmm. there was many people living here. Mm -hmm. And the restaurant, the temple, theater, and the very busy downtown area. You can see the disabled dome. This spot, my father's post was there. I think it's a piece bluebird. There were six, there were six thousand five residents in this area. Six thousand. Six thousand five hundred. Uh, so this is the this picture is the people who live in and uh, used to be in the peace Park, peace park and before the bombing. This is the uh, town name, uh, city name, in Zaimokcho, Zaimokcho area and Tenjin Kitamachi area, Tenjimachi area. It's center of the Peace Park. And this is my father's picture. I think it's 1,800 people over right here. I, I, I think you can watch this picture. Many, so many young people in yeah. here. So many children. Yeah. And so there's jun junior high school junior high or school elementary? Junior, junior high school. Junior high school. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And junior high school, first grade, second grade, and and Hiroshima. Yeah, second grade junior high. School. She, they were all of the working for demolition. Similar to your sister? Yeah, your sister was high school? Junior high school? Um, junior high school. Junior high school. Yeah, 30 years of junior high school. And then, 
Almost at that man, almost at that man had been called out, to, had been called out to fight and battlefield. So school children were forced to work to make up for wartime labor shortage, or all the people living in Hiroshima and in Japan never, never to fight. So at that man had been called out to fight. And that was that the case all over Japan? All over Japan, all, all the men were fighting, yeah, so all, all the children were working. Yes, yeah, that completely throughout the city, throughout the country, thirteen or thirteen to seventeen students were working for the, and were forced to work to. Me. And for mobilized student, I think it uh, mm, million people, two million more than two million students were working all over Japan. But about ten ten thousand people died in mobile student all over Japan, and then the eight. 8,005 8, students were killed at my bombing. So almost all students at my bombing on that day. Wow. We, my father, then, about seven years old. You look, you look like him. Yeah. <laughs> Do people, everybody says that? Yeah. 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 Red mark so, and red the yellow mark? Uh, the post office was there, and here Mark, and the elder sister working here, and then, okay. Bonton, they say the hypocenter. This picture, uh, two months later, and, and at the beginning of October, this picture, U.S. Army. So now in Hiroshima, we have the A bomb dome. Yeah. Do we have this building? No. Not anymore. Not, not anymore. How about this building? The, uh, this is the Hukuromachi Elementary School. So it's still standing? Yes. Yeah, standing. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's standing. But other than these three buildings, yeah. there's nothing, nothing in this nothing. area. Yeah. That's powerful. And this bridge, this is the T bridge, bridge, is still standing, same, still, standing. still same. Any other bridges we can see still? Still here. Still that Motoyas, one. Motoyas bridge, still now. This bridge still now. It is really a privilege to be able to listen to their stories and their testimonies and to be able to personalize their story in connection with your own life and your own story and to be able to tell those stories of Hibakusha survivors to other people that you meet in the future whether you go back to your home country or whether you talk to family and friends about the Hiroshima legacy this is a really important part about sustainability in Hiroshima for the community and for travelers and for the future of a world free of nuclear weapons. If you're in the Hiroshima area on the 6th, the 16th, or the 26th of any month, please make sure to drop in to the Hachidorisha Social Book Cafe and talk with one of the ABAM survivors this is really a wonderful chance to experience the telling of uh, a bomb survivor's story or testimony in person. This is the 75th year anniversary of the bombing of Hiroshima and Nagasaki. So I'd really encourage you to go and participate in this program if you have a chance.